back on the Anglers Extra Pre-Game Show. It's time for the catch of the day. I'm Johnny Wincott alongside today's catch, Zach Short from Sacred Heart. As Chatham gets ready to wrap up a four-game homestand against Bourne. Zach, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Now, you come from Sacred Heart, a smaller school in the Division I baseball scheme. Can you tell us a little bit about the Pioneers program over there? Um, like you said, it's a small, small program. Um, it's mostly guys of the Northeast Connecticut region, but um, we have a few outliers from like Florida and California. But yeah, we're not really the biggest program, but somehow we get it done. Well, you come from Hurley, New York, and then you ended up there at Sacred Heart. How did that path get uh, get drawn for you? Um, just with travel ball, I guess. And then uh, I tried out for the Erico games, and they saw me there. And then they came and watched me play about three or four tournaments, and then I signed in about July of my junior year. Well, now you have to go up against some of the best pitchers in the nation, and you seem to be adapting well, although using the wood bats. How's that been for you? You know, you hit the first home run here on the Cape for Chatham. You got a couple of extra base hits as well. Um, it's definitely different. You're, you're facing, like you said, the best pitchers in the country. Um, I mean, you just got to realize that they're college kids as well. I mean, they're just a little bigger than you, but I mean, you just got to stick with the approach, and uh, it's a process and a grind every day. Does that approach change at all here on the Cape than maybe playing back at Sacred Heart? Uh, yeah, definitely. There's more, like, better pitching out here, so you have to stay uh, shorter to the ball and stuff like that and just hit the ball up the middle. I mean, try to at least. Uh, you have played shortstop, third base, and second base this summer. Is there someone in Major League Baseball or someone maybe retired that you model your game after? Um, one person now is, like, Dustin Pedroia. Just, I mean, he just plays, like, all out every single time. I mean, there's nobody really better, him and Jeter. Now, are you more comfortable at shortstop, second base, or it doesn't really make a difference um, to you? I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, but I played shortstop the last two years at school and in high school. But, I mean, anywhere is fine. It's in the lineup. All right, this is Zach Short on Catch of the Day. Angler's getting set for a last game here at the four-game homestand at Veterans Field. You're also a big basketball fan, Zach. I know uh, LeBron James seems to be your guy. How would you feel about those NBA Finals? Uh, he, sh he didn't have any help. That's bottom line. I mean... Yeah, I just I couldn't get it done. <laughs> the words cannot describe, I guess. Yeah, exactly. It's a little butthurt over it. All right, so in that case, let's get to show me some glove. We got Zach's glove right down here, fresh from Sacred Heart. Three questions. Read them and answer. One word to describe Aaron Knapp's mustache and Trenton Brooks' mustache. Separate. Aaron Knapp's, gross. <laughs> Trenton, Book, Trenton Brooks, Pretty decent. Decent. Pretty decent. decent, yeah. All right. So Brooks decent, Nap gross. From the mouth of Zach Short. I'm not trying to make any enemies. <laughs> Question two. There's nothing Zach Short hates more than snakes. Snakes? Snakes. I can't do it. You ever get worried on a plane at all or no? <laughs> a little bit. All right. Question number three. My first baseball memory. Oh, boy. Um... Probably striking out my first at bat in Little League, to be honest. <laughs> I guess it's memorable, right? Yeah. Well, you're making more memories here in the Cape, including that first home run of the summer. This is Zach Short on Catch of the Day. Zach, thanks for coming on. All right, thanks for having me. Now we'll send it back up to the booth with Dom Catronio.